Hello, I'm Matt Rannigan, a Senior Application Scientist at Refine. In today's Teach Me in 10 presentation, I will be introducing mass photometry, an innovative technology that offers rapid, precise, and reproducible measurements for AAVs of any serotype, helping to streamline the development of new therapeutics. Following this presentation, I will walk you through a quick video demonstration of our instrument, the SAMEX MP, which is a mass photometer tailored for AAV analytics. I'll demonstrate how it uses microliters of an AAV sample to analyze the empty, partial, and full caps of populations in under five minutes. Production of recombinant AAVs takes several weeks and often results in the purification of the full AAV product, which contains the properly packaged single-stranded DNA cargo and co-purification of several AAV-related impurities that can be challenging to remove during production because many analytical methods are too slow for in-process monitoring. While genetically inactive, because they lack a complete transgene or have no DNA cargo at all, many of the AAV impurities pose several risks as viral materials that can be recognized by the patient's immune system. In fact, many processes produce far more empty particles than full ones. The risks from these impurities include low transduction efficiency due to receptor binding competition, increased immune response from high viral titers, limited targeted genome concentration due to capsid precipitation, and increased cost of goods produced. The major reason for the high amount of empty and partially full particles, even at the manufacturing level, is a lack of technology to rapidly and easily determine the empty full ratio, specifically during the early process development. Hence, there's a very real technology gap for the quick assessment of relative empty full ratios of AAVs. Many of the conventional methods, like analytical ultracentrifugation, SECMOLs, and DDPCR, are well known to be time consuming, require advanced training or expertise, or are not quantitative amongst other limitations. Quantification of the full AAV product purity are often left to the end of purification as a result. Mass photometry is a technique that uses light scatter to measure the mass of single particles. On the left, we see an example of an AAV sample that contains both empty and full virus, shown with or without the orange DNA cargo. These particles land on the surface, register a light scattering signal that is then interpreted as a contrast value that is proportional to the mass of each particle and counted as two populations in the histogram shown at the bottom. An example of real AAV data is shown on the right, whereby each peak is fit to a Gaussian distribution for statistical analyses of the empty, partially filled, and full populations. Here is a list of publications where the authors use mass photometry to study various aspects of AAV production and characterization, including empty full analyses, estimation of transgene size, and in-process monitoring during production. We will now go to the hands-on demonstration for measuring the empty full ratio of AAVs. Here we see the SAMIX MP. We will set up an experiment by first placing a silicon gasket on the assembly tool. Place a glass slide on top of the gasket and gently use the tweezers to seal any gaps between the two components. Oil is then applied to the microscope objective. And the slide is placed on top of the microscope stage. Magnets are used to hold the slide in place. Ten microliters of buffer is then applied to the first well and the lid is closed to initiate the laser. Here we see the Acquire MP software, and we will focus on the first well where we loaded the buffer by selecting the droplet dilution option and the instrument is focused on the slide. Um, as we see the instrument focusing, we see a closed ring in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, which indicates proper focusing of the microscope. Our MFP2 calibrant is then loaded to the well as a one-to-one -one dilution in this example. 
The sample is mixed and the lid is closed. Once closed, we immediately see landing events for our calibrant and press the record button to initiate the one minute experiment. The histogram in the upper right of the screen shows the real time counts for our sample. The experiment finishes, the software then prompts the user to save the data. So we enter MFP2 in the file name, press the save button, and once saved, we move the slide to the next well by selecting the option in the lower right corner. We open the lid to load the buffer in the next well and focus the microscope as in the first experiment using the droplet dilution method. Once the instrument is focused, indicated again by a closed ring in the lower left, we will load the AAV sample to the well, mix well, and close the lid before again pressing the record button to initiate the experiment. We again see landing events for our, our AAV loaded sample and the real-time counts in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. The experiment is finished. The software again prompts the user to save the data. We enter the uh, file name, AAV1 in this case, and we move. We will then move over to the fitting software, Discovery MP. Two files are opened for this demonstration, the MFP2 calibrant and the AAV1 sample files. The calibration is done by fitting the data to a Gaussian curve and then creating a mass calibration using the MF2, MFP2 preset option, clicking the Save button and naming the calibration file. We then open the AAV1 experiment, fit the data to a Gaussian curve, double click on the MFP2 calibration uh, calorie, yeah, to determine the molecular weight and titer information. And we see a mass of 3,572 kilodaltons, which is within the 5% error threshold for mass photometry. That brings us to the end of the demonstration. As you can see, for scientists who need to accelerate development, reduce costs, and simplify bioanalytical workflows, the SAMX MP delivers precise serotype independent measurements of full, empty, and partial AAVs in under five minutes using less than 20 microliters of sample. Unlike other methods that require hours per measurement, significant investment, and specialized training, the benchtop design of the SAMX MP requires less than one day of training and integrates easily into existing workflows, cutting down on external dependencies and speeding up your research. 
We hope that this presentation was helpful. For more information, feel free to visit our website or follow us on social media. Thank you and have a great day.